everybody welcome back to pushing paint some exciting news i will be doing my first ever craft show i will be in shipshawana indiana on the 27th of march 2021 just so we know we're in the present time and space and i will have all my paintings that you have seen on the show for sale as well as quite a few others that I did before I started doing the YouTube channel so if you're in the area or if you're a fan of any of my work all of it's for sale feel free to come out and take a look um, I'm gonna have a booth set up I think I'm in booth 207 which is on the second floor of the ship Shawana Expo Farm and Fleet Center something so I'll, you know, I'll probably look that up and get better details and I'll put them um, on the description of the video. So anyway, super excited about that. Um, thank you to everybody who's watching and liking and subscribing and clicking the notification bell and on the YouTube channel. Uh, it's been great and it keeps getting better and better. <clears throat> so today I'm just going to be doing some quick time lapse uh, video of... Um, just some quick little paintings. I think I'm going to do a couple northern light scenes. If you hear some noise in the background right now, that's my uh, 3D printer printing out some uh, other little things and odds and ends that I'm going to do a little paint job on. Probably won't have a video about those. Just, you know, just some little thing, fun things to have uh, at the craft show as well. So, in whoozle, uh, grab your paints and let's get started or just relax and sit back and watch me do my thing. Uh, thank you to everyone who's watching, and let's push the paint.
So this one is just about finished. I think we're just having fun with color here. Basically, it's nothing too complicated or tricky or even that good looking. I think it's just fun to do a little painting every now and then. Uh, this is much smaller than I'm usually working with. <clears throat> so, just a fun one to watch and, and enjoy a little short video. Hopefully I can get this one edited together and put on the channel. And, uh... Of course, the last little bit is the signature, which is always fun to do. But, again, for that signature, I just do exactly what old Bob Ross used to do. And that's get a little bit of your crimson or your red. And it uh, doesn't matter about the painting, you know, as far as, as far as color of the painting or anything like that. And then you get the red <clears throat> red paint real uh, loose with some with some uh, mineral spirits you get it so it's almost like water and then just that's a little too much there a little actual paint on the brush there we go just Always sign your work. Because you made it. You might be working for mine or or uh, you know trying to do your best imitation of my work which I'm, I'm perfectly okay with. I always put a year in there too. Just to remind me later on when I look at them, I can say, oh, I know when I did that. And I can see, you know, if I get any better along the way. So we do a little signature on there. We clean up our palette. We clean off our brushes so everything's in good shape for next time. And uh, thanks for joining me here. I'll scoot that out a bit. There we go. We can see what it looks like a little bit better. Just a nice little, just a nice little nighttime winter scene with some northern lights, some mountains, a nice pine tree right up front, some little odds and ends in the front. Just fun to do. So as always, thanks for joining me. Thanks for liking, subscribing. Uh, click on the notifications to see if, when I post a new video. Thank you, everyone. And as always. Keep on pushing paint around.